Hey there, it's the Metalhead Potter Head here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, my brother Gary is here about to do the Pottermore test to get sorted and see what house he's in and what his Patronus is. Let's take a look. <laughs> So Gary, are you excited for the Pottermore test? I'm super excited. Oh my god, let's super do this. Super excited. Okay, so we're on the first first thing. It's asking Gary, moon or stars? I am going to pick stars. Because I'm a star. Next question. Once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of... The sea... Men. Home. <laughs> sea men. Sea men. <laughs> a crackling log fire. Or fresh parchment. Hmm. What I you going for? I think... I like the smell of a crackling log fire. It's kind of a homey smell. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mare people? Um... Centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, or ghosts. Hmm. I do like the paranormal, so I would actually go for ghosts. Ghosty woasties. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls' club if you could? Oh god, this is a lot of reading, isn't it? Yeah. First student records gone back 1,000 years, then a nearly perfected cure for dragonpox, finally a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. First, a nearly perfected cure for dragonpox, then a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes, finally student records gone back 1,000 years. Oh, come on. I mean, I would literally randomly pick one here. Yeah. First, but don't. Take it serious. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. First student records gone back 1,000 years, then a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes, finally a nearly perfected cure for dragonpox. First, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes, then a nearly perfected cure for dragonpox, finally a student, student records gone back 1,000 years. First, mysterious handwritten book full of strange rules, then student records go back and tell you finally a nearly perfected cure for dragonpox. First, nearly perfected cure for dragonpox, then the student records go back and tell you finally a mysterious handwritten book full of strange rules. I mean, that's uh, I, I would actually go for the cure for dragonpox to be saved first because I think that could be quite important. Oh, there you go. So I would actually go for that one. Cool. Okay, what's this one? One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self spelling quill, and now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of, of what happened. He draws you to one, one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used the forbidden quill. What do you do? Well, option one, tell him the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. Whoops. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. It's a bit of a, a bit of a rat. Mm. Yeah, right. Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell you to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Well, that's a very moral. Uh, mm. It's a big moral um, debate there, Gary. Hmm. I don't know. Um. I don't know. I'm gonna have a quick scroll through these again. You know, Sonia was where you would tell. I wouldn't really rat out, but I would hope you would get caught out. Um, I probably. I don't know. I would go for this one. It, it just seems the moral high ground. Mm, mm. <laughs> okay, next question, Gary. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Barnowl. Twit -twoo. That's hilarious. Harlequin Todd. Go through them really quickly because there's lots. Ginger, Ginger cat. cat. Ew. Tawny Tawny Owl. Owl. Dragon Toad. Nah, Dragon Toad. White Cat. White Cat, you know what I'm saying? Natter Jack Toad. Common, Common Toad. Toad. What's Toads? Siamese Cat. Meow. Snowy Owl. Tabby Cat. Black Cat. Screech Owl. Brown Owl. Tree Toad. Tree Toad. Tree Toad. <laughs> okay. Three toad, tree toad. We can't do the Irish tree and tree there. She sells seashells. I'm gonna go for a snowy owl because I like owls and snowy owls are white and called snowy and I like snow. Okay, selector, come on. Ooh, selector. How would you like to be known to history? The Gary the Great. Mm. Gary the Gay. <laughs> Gary the Great, Gary the Wise. 
Gary the Gary bald. The bald. The bald, more like. Oh, <laughs> Gary the good. Um. I mean. I think I'd like like the grey is too like it's too like self-centered. Yeah. Or, uh, the good. I think the good definitely not the wise because I I get confused quite a lot. I have degree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Gary the Good because I feel like I'm a good person. Okay. Oops. Whoops. The oh, daisies. Having a bit of trouble there, right? Oh, yeah, I can't move my finger properly. Gary the Good, and I like the the ring that it has with it. Ow. Left or right? Oh my god. What? I mean, this is getting really no, geopolitical uh, and go like. Up there. Mm. You have to go left. We're lefties. I'm gonna go right. But that's oh, like you're a Nazi. I just thought I meant like left. Well, it does. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm joking. Oh no! no. Now you're throwing a spanner in the works. About being like political around. Um, I'll I'll go with left then because of what you don't know. I can't influence you. If you were gonna go right initially, you should. I was go, gonna go, go, right, go right, but I didn't even think of this. A it's hard. It's the wizarding world. Anyway, I don't think there's I left wing and right wing in it. So yeah, go I to really your initial. I really didn't take this as a political question, so I was gonna go right yeah. because then you should go with what your gut told you. Right, yeah. I'm sick. Oh my oh, god. Have I... You're a Gryffindor! I'm a Gryffindor! Now, there you have it, folks. I'm a Gryffindor. I'm like the elite. No, Slytherin is the elite. No, yeah, well, it's. I'm a Gryffindor. I'm... Okay, let's find out what your Patronus is. How do I do that now? Do I need to do anything? The Patronus is kind of. Positive force, protection of the very things that the men have feeds upon, hope, happiness, and disaster is by. Eh, uh, can you get rid of it? Click. What should I do? I don't know. Do I click on I think it's just an animation that's going Oh, look! Sparkles come off my Corsa Scubbio Patronus. You can only eat the Scubbio Patronus once the questions are timed to go with your instincts. Ooh. Oh, I hate timed! Ooh. I'm gonna mess it all up. Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Now keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very clean. Oh! Oh dear lord! <laughs> Glitter shine, go! Shine. Shine bright like a diamond. <gasps> you took too long. I think. Did I? Right, sun, wind, ra I love rain. I took too long because I was shining no, like the time. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be really quick. That's scary. Oh no. Bright, sh bright. Obviously. Because I shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> air to wood. Stop. Air wood. Wood. Oh, wood. Ah! ah! Too many I like, jokes. I like, uh, yeah, <laughs> but I like trees. <laughs> I like trees. They're very really tree -y. Something is trying to emerge from your wands. Keep going. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Too many jokes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> together, 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 forever. It's forming, it's forming. <laughs> Love, trust, hope, love. Everybody loves a bit of love. Me nerves are gone. Click, drag, and release for your patrolness. How do I do it? Is that it? How do I do it? I think so. Your patronus is a uh... A St. Bernard dog? I don't want that! I don't want that one! I'm not happy! Oh, look at it! Look at it! What's it doing there now? I don't like that one. So, are you happy with your Patronus? No. no. Well, you ha mine is a, like, what's it, a Reese's monkey or something like that? <laughs> I prefer a St. Bernard than a Reese's it's like monkey. You didn't get a dog, you got a fat dog. I got a fat dog that is like flolloping all over the place. It's not even walking. I got a disabled dog. Oh. <laughs> you can take that bit out. 
I got it. A whoopsie daisy dog. <laughs> a whoopsie daisy dog. <laughs> Say the please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. And don't, don't forget to, to tickle that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated on all new Metalhead Fatherhead videos. <laughs>